So that's what I was saying. As you guys can see, it's going way smoother because this part is actually loaded fully. So this is a normal speed. <laughs> guys my name is Alex and welcome to the last After Effects tutorial of the day in this video guys I'm going to show you guys how to how to get rid of the lags you know in your preview screen when you're editing a video so let's say you are editing very heavy footage like 4k videos or time lapses I'm going to show you guys how to you know reduce the lag as much as you can from lagging in the preview screen so I would say let's get started okay so now that we're on After Effects the first thing that you want to do actually guys in order to reduce the lag i'm going to drag in a clip real quick of my intro 12 seconds later okay so as you guys can see i just dragged in the intro of this video and first of all guys if i'm going to play this back this is going to what this is going to happen when i just press space as you guys can see it's not going on the normal speed or going that smooth it, there is some lag as you guys can see and basically that's because the, it's not it's, it has to pre-render so if you pay attention to your timeline right there so if you pay attention to your timeline as you can see right there all those green dots has to be connected so what you can do first of all before you start editing just play back the video and wait until all those green parts are all like one solid line right there because it has to pre-render and it's a very diff it's a, like a 60 fps file and after effects needs to compress this so try to you know try to avoid like putting in your your footage and start editing right away what you can do is just to prevent the lags you can also go to right there on this one and you can just press on fit up to 100 percent and that's going to pick the best settings to play it back without any lags so that's what i was saying as you guys can see it's going way smoother because this part is actually loaded fully so this is a normal speed and it, and what you can try to do is as, as, you can, as you can see right there those three colors this one is on full but what you can do is you can try to put this one to auto so it's going to choose the best you know settings for your video but i just keep this on full and that works best for me but if it's like way too heavy my pc is like an 1100 dollars pc guys so it can be different for you but if you want to just you know try to remove the lag just Trying to mess with those ones, you can put it on half and watch it and look at it that way. But I just keep this one on full because that works best for me. So if you have something else, that's you gotta do that because as I told you guys, this line is blue, like this. I don't know why it turned blue, but this line, as you can see right there, you just need to connect all those green dots until you have like your entire clip. It can take a while because especially this is like a like I would say like a one minute video, like less. So that's basically why it's going so fast. But if your footage is really long, this can take a this can take a while. So just guys, guys, try to you know just play this back and just let those connect and load. And then as you can see right there, this one you can just mess around with the settings. I'm gonna put this one right there. So that can also help, guys. Like you can you can scroll with your 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 scroll wheel on your mouse, or you can just put, change those settings to whatever works. I'm just gonna fit one, up to 100%, and it's going very smooth guys as you can see so the main thing is try to let this load because this green part is loaded so it plays normal but if i go right here where it's not loaded it is starting to lag again as you can see right there because this is not loaded so you just want to make sure that you have everything connected as you can see this line is getting closer and it's connected and now it's going to just go at regular speed and i would say that's how you can remove the lags out of your preview screen in after effects that simple guys and i would say it's that easy just wait until those are just connected and make sure you click on this one fit up to 100 percent or fit or whatever but whatever works for your pc and i would say that's basically what i would recommend so that's the simple this guys that's how you prevent lags in the preview screen so thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and i will see you guys tomorrow for three new videos two obs tutorials and an extra video so thank you for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow